Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Torrance University Australia virtual information session. Thanks for joining us today. We are very excited to have this webinar today with Torrance University, which is part of Laureate International Universities, a leading international network of quality, innovative institutions, and one of the most popular universities for our European students. My name is Ella. I'm an education planner at IAE Global Sydney, and I'm looking after onshore and onshore European students. Let me briefly introduce IAE Global Sydney, just in case you do not know who we are. IAE is an education agency. We assist international students with their study plans, the school applications, enrollments, and the student visa. We are based in Sydney, Australia, but as we are a global company, our services are provided through our a wide range of ways, including online and social media platforms. Our services are provided in different languages, including English, Polish, Lithuanian, Russian, Spanish, Portuguese, Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese, Thai, and Chinese. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions for future education plans in Australia, and our staff will be available for free counseling. Now, a little bit of housekeeping to start. If you have questions uh, throughout the presentation, please leave your questions in the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen, and they will be answered in the Q&A session after the presentation. There is also the chat box. You can pop in your questions there as well. Now, without further ado, let's get into the main session. I'm going to pass it over to our presenter today, Dodi Christian. Thank you, Ella. Uh, thank you for IAE Sydney uh, to organize this event. Uh, so hello, everyone. Welcome to our uh, first webinar, I believe. Uh, so I'm Dodi, the business development from Torrance University, Australia. So in this uh, webinar, I will uh, try to introduce you to Torrance University, Australia, give a little bit of uh, snapshots uh, who we are, and also the campuses that we do have, and also what faculty that we can offer to you. Uh, and after that session, of, of course, that uh, I will try to uh, let you know as well as uh, the intakes that we do have and also the scholarships available for you. Uh, if you wish to uh, start your degree at Torrance University for 2021. At the same time as well, after the sessions, we will do the Q&A session. So it's gonna be, uh, hopefully that it's gonna be interactive. I believe you already have a lot of questions. So that's uh, an opportunity for you to ask the questions, everything in regards to Torrance University Australia and also your future plan. So let uh, we start with the presentation. It's gonna be very quick presentation. Just give me a moment. Let me share the screen. All right, hopefully that everyone can see my screen. Yep, all good? Yep. All right, so once again, welcome to Torrance University Australia. So um, who we are, who is Torrance University Australia? So Torrance University Australia is the first new university in Australia in more than 20 years. Torrance University brings innovative, disruptive, a career focus, global perspective, and has an international approach to Australian higher education. At Australia fastest growing university, Torrance University Australia get access to over 300 high quality courses. Study what you want and where you want. So what makes us different to the rest of the university in Australia? We do have small class sizes. We do have the industry placements with some of the most influential brands in the world. And for every single student, students will be allocated with a specific success coach coaching you to achieve your career and life goals. In terms of the campuses that we do have, Torrance University Australia have the campuses in four cities. We have the campus in Adelaide, in Brisbane, Melbourne, and also Sydney. Now is the most important thing and the fun facts about Torrance University Australia. As I mentioned to you earlier before, that Torrance University Australia is the Australia's fastest growing university with a credible industry immersive difference. Currently, we do have more than 19,000 students studying at Torrance University Australia. We do have high employability rate, which is 90%. And for our hospitality graduates, the employment rate is 95%. And we do have high retentions for international students. It is 90%. And 
we do have more than 3,600 industry contacts for the industry placements. Now, another important thing for you to know as well. So we are part of the ranking systems for our program. As you can see here, we are number one in Australia for hospitality and leisure management. We are top 10 best 3D motion graphics schools in the world. We are top 10 animation schools in the world. We are number 20 global MBA based on CEO magazine. And we are top 10 animation school in Australasia. We are international school of the year uh, for the graphic design. And we are number one hotel management school. And at Torres University Australia, we own our own restaurant, which is William Blue, Dine, William Blue Dining. And we are top 10 restaurant based on the trip advisor. So in regards to our international students mix, so this is really important. So our international student mix, they are all coming from six continents, over 118 countries. And currently we do have more than 11,000 international students enrolling at Torrance University Australia. And I will show you a quick snapshot of our campuses. And it's a video, so I want you to enjoy the video of our campuses. Let me play this one. Welcome to Torrens University Australia. Come on in and I'll take you on a tour. The main focus at Torrens University is for our students to get not only knowledge, but the practical skill set within the industry they've chosen. We offer interactive workshops taught by our leading industry academics. We also offer mixed mode on campus and online studies for the majority of our courses. We are one of the best design schools here in Australia with a history of around about 40 years in the industry. So we have a lot of industry connections. On this campus, students live, work and study in our simulated hotel environment. We have the ward of hotel across the road where students work and talk to real guests every day. One of the most exciting things about being a student at the Piermont campus is you get the opportunity to get hands-on experience by working in a professional integrative practice here at the Wellbeing Centre. This is our sewing room, a part of our fashion facilities. Students get the opportunity to uh, get hands-on, create their garment designs and bring them to life. For our nursing students, we have a fully functional hospital ward. The beauty of Torrens University is we cap our classes at 24. Therefore, our students are getting a smaller classroom size, giving them the opportunity to raise their hand in class, connect with their educator, and not get lost in a large crowd of a lecture hall. The Alfred Jacker Library has one of the largest collections of natural medicine resources in Australia. This is just one place where you can study with great views of the Brisbane River and Story Bridge. We have vibrant shops, restaurants and cafes at our doorstep. Each student that enrols at Torrens University is assigned a success coach. This success coach is here to mentor you through your studies and help prepare you for the workforce. We are so proud to see our students start their studies here and end up all across the world. We'd love for you to come and check it out for yourself, but thank you for watching and we hope to see you soon. So that's a little bit snapshot about Torrance University Australia campuses. So it's really great video. Uh, hopefully that you enjoy it. So I will continue further uh, with uh, the presentation. So at Torrance University Australia, we do have five, five faculties that you can choose from. Later on, it depends on the courses and what the career goal that you want to achieve. So uh, the first faculty uh, at Torrance University is the business faculty. So why uh, do students choose to study business at Torrance University Australia? Well, one of the reasons is pretty much uh, we are tier one global MBA ranking and the number 20 global online MBA. 
and also our MBA is the top 10 MBA providers in Australia for providing value for money. So on the, uh, the bottom right corner, you can have a look that there are the programs that we are offering under the business faculty. So we are offering the undergraduate program and also postgraduate from the business, commerce, entrepreneurship, event management, marketing, sport management, business information system, business administration, global project management, engineering management, and also professional accounting. This is the sample of the industry contacts that we do have under the business faculty. So in the business faculty, we do have over 400 industry contacts, and this is some of them, and you can have a look. The, uh, a very well-known brand in the, uh, in the worldwide itself. For example, you can have a look at Dior, you can have a look, of course, CPA, Reflon, uh, the Charter Accountants, Fairfax Media, and so on. This is just a sample of the industry context at the business faculty. The next faculty is the hospitality. So why the students chose study hospitality at Torrance University? It's because we are number one in Australia for hospitality and leisure management. We are number one hotel management school and we are top 10 restaurants under William Blue Dining. So uh, the programs that we are offering under the hospitality, we're offering the international resort and hotel management, culinary management, hospitality management, and also tourism management. And another important things of the industry contacts that we do have under hospitality faculty. This is a sample of the 200 industry contacts that we do have. We do have, once again, a very well-known brand, well-known organizations, for example, Hyatt, the Mandarin Oriental, IHG, Hilton, and so on. The next faculty is the design and creative technology. Why the students chose to study design and creative technology at Torrance University? Because we are top 10 animation school in Australasia. We are top 10 best 3D motion graphic school in the world. We are international school of the year for graphic design. And also we are top 10 animation school in the world. So this is the programs that we are offering. We have the diploma programs, which is under undergraduate programs and also postgraduate. We offering graphic design, interior design and decoration, photo imaging. We have design programs in general. We have branded fashion design, communication design, digital media design. We have creative technology game arts and software engineering for game programming and also artificial intelligence. These are the sample of the industry contacts that we do have under design and creative technology. So we do have a big brand under design and creative technology faculty, which is, uh, you can have a look there. We do have IBM, Sony, Channel 7, and Vogue, and others uh, that you can see it there as well. So that's an opportunity for our students to do the internship with these big brands in the industry as well. The next faculty that Torrance University offer is in health. So under the health faculty, we are offering beauty and spa practice, health science, public health, community services, aesthetic, clinical nutrition, naturopathy, Western herbal medicine, nursing, and also, well, public health that I mentioned to you earlier. And the industry context that we do have under the health faculty, this is a sample of it. So we do have Mediher, Anamaya Health, Dermalogica, Elabesh, and so on. Last but not least of the faculty that we are offering is the education. So under the education, at the moment, what we are offering is in the postgraduate level. So we are offering in the autism and also special education. So if you are interested uh, to apply, definitely you can contact IAE Sydney. Uh, you can contact Ella and the team as well. But this is something that you might need to know as well when you talk to them, so what the documents that you need to provide. So I will show you quickly here. So you need to provide with the completed application forms, Orange University one. And also you need to provide with the passport. The IA Sydney will be able to certify your passport. 
and also the English proficiency. In regards to English proficiency, if you're looking to apply for, let's say, the diploma programs, the uh, standard entry requirements for the English proficiency is the academic IELTS 5.5 with no band less than 5.0. If you wish to apply for the associate degree or bachelor degree, the uh, general entry requirements for the English proficiency is academic IELTS 6.0 with no band less than 5.5. And if you are interested for the postgraduate level, the English proficiency, the general requirement is the academic IELTS 6.5 with no band less than 6.0. Once again, it's just the general uh, English proficiency sometimes from one program to another program, it's just slightly different of the entry requirement for the English proficiency. And also you need to provide us with the certified copy of the academic document documents. You need to provide with the completion certificate and also official transcripts. And also other supporting documents that you might need to provide it as well. For example, the CV or resume, the references, and if you wish to apply for the credit course transfer credit, you need to provide us with the course credit application form. And some of the cases, you need to provide us with a statement of purpose as well. Some of the design programs, you might need to provide us with the design portfolio. Uh, so that's some of the supporting documents that you need to provide it as well. So at Torrance University Australia, we are offering the scholarship for the international students. I will give you just uh, the overview of the scholarship available for 2021. So if you are interested, uh, you can ask further and later on during the Q&A stations, you can ask further as well, or maybe you can write down in the chat box uh, next to you, uh, or you can ask uh, Ella and myself directly as well in the Q&A. So this is the overview of the scholarship that we do have. So we do have a different uh, value of scholarship. We do have 15%, 20%, 25%, and also 30%. But it depends on what type of the scholarship that, that you can apply or what type of scholarship that we can offer you as well. So for example, here, uh, we do have the 15% scholarship for the Latin American and Europeans if you wish to apply for the health and also design programs at Torrance University Australia. And for Latin American and European students, if you are interested for the business programs at Torrance University Australia, you might be able to apply for the 30% scholarship. So you can have a look there. Yeah, so we do have like a different variety of the scholarship. And once again, you can ask further in the Q&A sessions, which is it's coming very soon. So I think that's the presentations about Torrance University Australia. Hopefully that you uh, get the general knowledge about Torrance University Australia, about who we are and the programs that we are offering. And I'm uh, waiting for all the questions that you have now. I will pass it back to Ella. Daddy, as, I can, as I can see, there is no question so far. So I just would like to ask, how, what is the delivery mode at the moment at Torrance University? Yeah, so uh, as we know, uh, with the current pandemic situations, Torrance University Australia, we always, um, the safety of our students is the most priority. Uh, so with the current situations, uh, we delivered the class online. So all the students, they can attend the class uh, from your lounge, from your bathrooms, uh, maybe from the cafe now, some of, well, of course, some of the cafes open kind of like normal now. Uh, so until the end of these years, all the class will be delivered online. In regards to next year, uh, we waiting uh, for the official uh, confirmations uh, from our uh, management as well in regards to the class delivery. I believe that uh, for next year's, the students might be able to have the option, uh, but just wait for further announcement from Torrance University Australia, the official announcements of what is the delivery of the class starting next year. Okay, and so could you tell more about the subjects per trimester? There are three trimesters in a year, so could you tell more how uh, how many subjects have the students have to choose and where does each term start? Okay, sure. So at Torrance University Australia, Australia, we're running into three trimesters a year. 
So uh, we do have three intakes a year. So the trimester one uh, is starting in February, trimester two starting in June, and trimester three starting in September. Uh, so uh, you can choose if you, uh, let's say you finish your degree already in Australia and you, if you want to study further uh, soon, so the next available intake for you is going to be February 2021. Uh, and as the international students, part of your visa conditions that you need to maintain the full-time study load. In general, for full-time study load, you need to do eight subjects a year. So at Orange University Australia, with the three trimesters uh, a basis, so you need to do eight subjects per year. So each trimester, you need to take three subjects. And on the last trimester of the year, you can take two subjects. So it's going to be like three subjects, let's say in February, trimester one, three subjects in June, trimester two, and you can take two subjects in the trimester three in September. But once again, uh, sometimes you need to know as well about your programs uh, uh, that you would like to study at Torrance University Australia. Some of the programs, or very few of the programs, require you to do 12 subjects a year. Yeah, once again, it's very rare, but there's uh, one or two programs that require the students to complete 12 subjects a year. If that case, it means you need to do four subjects in the trimester one, four subjects in the trimester two, and four subjects in the trimester three. Yeah, but in general, three subjects in each trimester. Okay, and we also have a question about the commercial cookery. So at William Blue, and how is it to deliver it, the practical units yep. um, at the That's moment? That's great. That's really good question. So, so as we know, um, for the culinary management itself, so there's a lot of involvement of the practicality, yeah. So uh, with the current pandemic happen, uh, so we're trying to, uh, once again, follow the regulations of the health department. Uh, so all the delivery is uh, online. So uh, we put on hold uh, for the practicality itself during that the uh, pandemic, during the lockdown restriction itself. Uh, but now um, we manage for the student still do the class online, but in terms of the practicality, so the students uh, come to the campus or to the kitchen itself, and we practice the social distance. So the students already started to go back to the kitchens to do the practicality itself, but they need to practice and we need to monitor the social distance. Okay. And could you also tell more about uh, English? If the student doesn't meet the English requirement, what options can they choose? Okay, so there's a lot of options that you can choose. Uh, so let's say if you do not meet the entry requirement English proficiency for the programs that you wish to start at Torrance University Australia, you can start with Torrance University Language Center. So under Torrance University itself, we do have uh, the English programs that we can offer to you, and you can do a package with Torrance University Language Center and also the main programs that you want to study at Torrance University Australia. So let's say you already have the IELTS score or PTE score and you don't meet the entry requirement, you can just submit everything to IAE and I will submit everything to us and we can have a look and we can give you the recommendations of how many weeks that you need to start at Torrance University Language Center. You might need to do, let's say, 10 weeks of EAP1 or uh, 20 weeks of EAP in both of 10 weeks of EAP1 and 10 weeks of EAP2, plus the master program or bachelor programs. Uh, it depends on the programs that you do have. And also we do have uh, some of our uh, pathway partners that you might be able to start the English there, but later on, that, uh, IAE can give you a further uh, information about the pathway partners that Orange University has. Thank you, Dodi. There is another question from our attendee. The question is um, about the design program at Billy Blue. The student is asking if they need to submit a portfolio before yep. applying. Okay. 
So um, it's a good news uh, now for our design programs, um, except for the postgraduate design, which is the master of design, uh, the students need to provide a design portfolio uh, based on their working experience. But for other programs uh, in the undergraduate uh, level, if you wish to study design, you don't need to provide the design portfolio as part of the admission. Yeah. However, if you wish to apply for the Design Merit Scholarship, which is you might see it on my presentations before, there's a scholarship for the Design Merit. Uh, part of the criteria that you we need to assess your design portfolio. So for that reason, you need to provide the design portfolio for us to assess whether you can get that Design Merit Scholarship. Okay. There is one more question about the MBA program. Uh, what are the requirements uh, of enrolling uh, to that program? Okay, that's good. Uh, so most of, of uh, most of the international students, normally they're looking for the, let's say two years of the Master of Business Administration at Torrance University of Australia. So if they're looking for two years duration of Master of Business Administrations, what the students need to apply is the Master of Business Admin Administration Advance. In regards to the entry requirement for the Master of Business Administration Advance, that you need academically, that you need to successfully complete it, equivalence to Australian undergraduate degree or equivalence to Australian bachelor degree. And in regards to the English proficiency, that the students need to achieve equivalence to academic IELTS 6.5 with no band less than 6.0. So it's very easy, it's very straightforward in regards to the entry requirements for the international students to apply for the Master of Business Administration at Okay, and you have mentioned that you are partnering with many uh, companies. How does the internship work? Uh, does the university help with the application to do the internship? And when usually uh, the students can apply for it? Okay. In regards to the internship itself, um, for all of our undergraduate, we do have the specific subjects, which we call it the work integrated learning. So during that subject itself, that the students will do uh, the work placement. Yeah, the work placement can be like outside of the uh, university or could be inside of the university. Uh, so we assisting the students uh, to definitely that the students need to uh, look for the uh, company for them to do the internship. But at the same time as well, as we can assist the students to secure for the internship itself. Uh, and if the students fail to uh, secure the internships, normally what we do, we do the flip internship, which is that we bring the uh, expert uh, that working in the industry itself, in the specific company, to come to our uh, premises, come to our university, to run the stations with the student as part of the work placement, part of the work integrated learning of that subject. Yeah. Uh, in regards to the hospitality uh, faculty programs, it's slightly different. Uh, for the hospitality programs that the students have to do the internships with the either the restaurant or the hotel itself, and they need to uh, maintain the specific number of hours uh, to complete the degree as part of like that internship programs. Uh, and for that hospitality is a guaranteed paid internship for the student and the students need to complete minimum 800 hours in total for that internship. Okay, thank you. Thank you everyone for asking questions and thank you very much Dodi about for sharing the information about Torrance University Australia. I would like to remind you all that we will be sharing the recording of today's session with you. So in case you have missed anything, you can visit IE Global Facebook page and YouTube channel. Uh, thank you all for taking your time out of your busy schedule. I hope you all keep safe and well. And bye for now. Thank you all. See ya.